Hi guys! Okay, first things first, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer and I'm just going to put this all over my face. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and I'm just going to take a knockoff version of the Beauty Blender and I'm just going to get it damp and just blend that all over. Now I'm going in with my MAC concealer and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes just to kind of get rid of those dark circles and I'm just applying a thin layer because I don't want it to look too cakey. And then I like to go in with my NYX Photogenic Concealer and I really like to use this as more of a highlight just because it's lighter than my skin tone which is cool so I just kind of put that on the tops of my cheeks and just blend that out with that same sponge. and I like to bring it down my nose a little bit and as you can see I still have some gnarly areas that are still showing through so I'm gonna have to cover those up with some more of that concealer I'm just gonna go over the top a little bit and just focus on the areas that are still red and just blend those in Now I'm taking my Makeup Forever loose powder and setting the concealer that I put underneath my eyes. Now, oh my goodness, the Amrezi palette, too good to be true, seriously. Okay, but first, wait, gonna take the Soft Ochre Paint Pot, can't forget that. I'm just gonna kinda conceal the veins and nasty things that are on my eyelid that I don't want showing through. And then I'm gonna take the Vanilla shade and place that all over my lid as a base, and I'm gonna place it all the way up to my brow bone. And then I'm taking my favorite shade, which is Caramel, on my MAC 217, and I'm just going to put that in the crease. And I'm seriously, not even kidding, blending for like 10 minutes straight. So just going to kind of skip through that. You're welcome for not inserting a 10-minute clip on blending. And, well, look at that. More blending. All right. Anyways, taking the Morocco shade, which is a really pretty color as well, and I'm just placing that basically in the same area and just going to blend that into the Caramel. Then I'm going to go in with a deep plum on a pencil brush. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer half of my eye just to kind of deepen up that area a little bit. And I'm not going to bring it down to my, lo to my um, lash line. I'm just going to keep it in the crease. And of course, more blending. and more blending. And I like to just take the same sponge and just kind of clean up the area where there might have been some fallout. And then I'm taking the caramel color and just placing that all the way underneath my lower lash line and stabbing myself in the eye. And I like to use the brush that came with the palette actually because it's really handy. And I flip it over to the other side and use the bigger part of the brush to just blend it out. And I'm going back in with Morocco and just placing that on the outer half of the lower lash line and making sure that it's connecting up to what we put on the upper lid. And I'm just going in with the vanilla again and just placing that where I might have lost some of the color when I was blending and also putting it in my inner corner as a highlight as well and a little bit more on my brow bone. Now I'm taking my favorite gel liner and just doing a little wing. Basically just drawing the outline and it wouldn't be a tutorial if I didn't get my hand in the way but uh, yeah just filling that out and then filling it in as I go. You guys know the drill. Whoa look at that slow-mo damn work it all right so I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of mascara to my top and lower eyelashes forgot that word Wow and I'm gonna be applying falsies so I'm not gonna be putting too much mascara on 
And these are just some Ardell lashes. Can't remember exactly which ones, but I will look and put that in the description box in case you're wondering. And I like to go over the glue with some eyeliner. I'm just using my Stila Stay All Day liquid liner and just going over the spots that are white because obviously don't want that to show. I mean, if you do, that's your thing, but you know. Okay, so now I'm doing my brows and if you guys want more of an in-depth tutorial on how I do my brows, just I will leave that video below in the description box because I just filmed an in-depth tutorial on how I do my eyebrows. And then I'm taking my Anastasia contour kit and taking that middle contour shade and just going at it. I just like to make the kissy face so I know where to apply that. And then I don't know what I was doing. Okay, anyways, just blending that out. And then I like to just, you know, kind of blend this up to my temple and across my hairline. And I don't really go too crazy when it comes to contouring. I don't like contour my nose or anything for the most part but just focus on the cheeks and the temple and then blending it underneath my jawline just a little bit. Now I'm taking my new favorite thing which is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'm just placing this on the highest parts of my cheekbones because this is seriously the best highlight in the entire world. I'm not kidding. Changed my life. I'm putting it on my nose a little bit and on my cupid's bow as well. And I like to go in and put a little bit more on my brow bones. Then I'm taking the Betty Luminizer, which is the blush version of Mary Luminizer, and when you put these two together, I'm not kidding, it is like the most amazing thing. So it just makes your face look super glowy and just really nice, so I like to pair those two together. Now I'm taking my Milani Fruit Punch, which is one of my favorite lipsticks for the summer, and I'm just dabbing it on because it is really bright and I kind of don't like it to be like all up in your business sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So I just dab it on there just to get some nice color and then I go over that with my NYX Nude Pink Lip Liner just to kind of clean up the edges. And yeah, that's basically it for my go-to everyday look that I've been doing for the past couple weeks or so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!